Once you've cast on all 20 of your stitches, you are going to begin knitting. We're going to start with the basic knit stitch. The nice thing is, because you learned the knitting cast on, the knit stitch is very similar. You're going to take your first loop on your left hand needle and you're going to slide your right hand needle through in the back creating that X. You're going to slide your yarn around and through and you're going to grab and pull through. Now the difference with the knit stitch versus the casting on is you're not going to slide the loop off the right hand needle and onto the left. Instead, you're going to take this loop on your left hand needle and you're going to slide it off the needle. That is your first knit stitch. And you're going to do that again. Slide the needle into the first loop, create that X, bring your yarn around, pull through, and pull the stitch off your left hand needle. I'm going to continue knitting the stitches so you can see what the end result of your first row should look like. Slide in, bring the yarn around, pull through, slide off. One thing you're going to have to worry about when you're first learning to knit is your tension. The tension is how tight your stitches are. It just takes practice. Most likely your stitches will be very tight at first and what you can do to loosen them up is to just see that this yarn isn't pulled super tight when you pull it around. Just pull it around loose and then pull it through and give yourself a little extra room. That will make it easy when you switch sides and go to your second row. Once you reach the end of your 20 stitches, you're going to pull all of your stitches straight and this is what they should look like. And you're going to want to count and make sure that you still have 20 stitches on there. Then what you're going to do is take your right hand needle, transfer it to your left hand, take your left hand needle, transfer it to your right hand, and you're going to do the same process all over again. Slide your needle in and start your knitting. Make sure that you don't grab this extra tail of yarn that's hanging there, otherwise you'll not have enough to make it to the end of the row. You're going to continue this process and just practice. Go until your stitches start to look even. They're not going to start out looking exactly like this, but once you get the knack for it, they'll even out. I want to show you what a swatch of knit stitch looks like so that you have an idea. This is 20 rows, 20 stitches. This is the look that you're going to be going for. But don't be discouraged, it takes lots of practice.